Uh, now to a question that has popped up from the start and is still asked, if the seasonal flu kills tens of thousands of people every year and we don't shut down the economy, why are we closing everything for coronavirus? Yeah, it's a question that seems especially relevant as politicians debate when and how to reopen businesses. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to help explain the differences. Doc. Yeah, guys, you know, one of the biggest differences that we've seen is how the viruses strike a community. Flu season lasts for several months each year. COVID-19 cases, well, they've been hitting in a much more concentrated way. For example, COVID-19 recently killed as many New Yorkers in three days' time as the seasonal flu typically does in an entire year. <coughs> Make no mistake, seasonal influenza is deadly, too. The CDC estimates up to 56 million Americans have had the seasonal flu from last October through the beginning of April. Between 24,000 to 62,000 Americans have died from it. By comparison, COVID-19 cases are now approaching 600,000, with more than 25,000 deaths. With limited testing, we have no idea how many Americans have actually been infected by the coronavirus. But remember, to help limit the impact of the seasonal flu, we have an annual vaccine and treatments too. Some people also have some degree of natural immunity from previous exposure to similar strains. There is no vaccine for the coronavirus, no proven treatment, and no one has any natural immunity because it's a new virus. Without the social distancing and shutdowns we are currently experiencing, the coronavirus would spread through communities much more rapidly than the flu, overloading the medical system. COVID-19 patients also tend to be sicker for longer. The median length of hospitalization for an adult with the flu is just under three days. In Seattle, for COVID-19 patients, the median stay was 12 to 17 days, most of those in the ICU. Now, another major difference is the level of PPE required. When I treat a flu patient, I don't need an N95 mask or an entire face shield. With COVID-19 patients, Healthcare workers need this protection to reduce our risk of infection. Yeah. Well, Doc, we haven't heard much about flu cases as coronavirus cases have ramped up. Is that because flu season is over or are doctors just not testing as much? Well, you know, it's a little bit of both, actually. Flu season is winding down, but most of us aren't sending flu swabs anymore because if the person turns out to have COVID and not the flu, mm -hmm. just doing the swab actually exposes us to more risk. So practically speaking, if we really think someone has the flu and they're still in that window to get Tamiflu, most of us would just prescribe it and not expose ourselves to the extra risk of doing that flu swab. Sure. Okay. Doc, we appreciate it.